Winston the Punisher Matthews is taking the boxing world by storm. Having only had two pro fights, first ending in a knockout, the second a draw, Matthews plans to keep training and building his pro career. I think my first question for you is, if we're talking about doing this series about the club and, uh, and sort of what it is and what it does, is what does this mean to you after just the last year and a bit of your life? So it's become like uh, one of the main parts of my life now. <laughs> you know, it's like an everyday part of my life. I just live, live boxing now pretty much. If I recall, you got started, it was, it was just a casual run-in and showing up just one time? Yeah, I was doing, um, at the time I was doing a, some uh, training videos online, like I was doing like a, some extreme calisthenics and stuff like that. And Jordan had linked me, uh, Jordan Crawford, who's one of my training partners, got a hold of me to help him get uh, his strength and conditioning up for his upcoming fight. So I came and uh, did some sparring with him and stuff. Started from there. And it just clicked with you? Yeah, just right away I just fell in love with it. Like these guys used to beat the crap out of me. I'd leave with black eyes, bloody noses, fat lips, but I just kept coming back and I just wanted to learn so bad that I don't know, I just fell in love with it right away. What is, what is it, do you think, about the sport that, that did that to you, that just hooked you and made you want to learn more and get better? Well, I've always had that competitive, competitiveness in my blood. Like, I've been an athlete all, like, all my life. I've been in sports, played basketball, soccer. So I don't know, just like the competitive, the whole competitiveness of it has got to me, you know, and it's, and it's all on me, you know, like there's coaches and we got teammates and everything that we work with, but when it's in the ring, it's all up to me, you know, so. And, and sorry, I left out, I left out uh, on purpose here, just the, like the reveal here is that it was a year and a bit ago now, so uh, one year and what, two, three months, I think total you've been here. Yeah. You had 11 amateur fights and you've already won your first pro fight. Yeah. That is, talk about going from zero to 100. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> yeah, real quick. But uh, yeah, it feels good. I don't know. Sometimes I look back and it just amazes myself. Like, but I'm just so caught up in it that sometimes I don't really take the time to, to think about it. When I do, I appreciate it for sure, though. And, and, and I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll let you give the credit where the credit's due. I mean, the club just, it's the way they take you in and sort of just push you along. Yeah, like, I don't know. I've been in a lot of, like, trouble in my life, you know, making a lot of bad decisions. So, like, I don't know. I just kind of got lost in it. And these guys have never steered me wrong. They're always there for me. Like I, everything I've needed, they've been there. Like you know, every all of them, every coach I, I've been able to call them. Jack, my main man. Like I can call them for anything. They're just they're like that for everybody, you know. So, but you put in the work, and it's been paying off for us. So take me back to the early days. You came in. It was just like it was literally just a couple of sessions to spar with with Jordan to help him get in shape for a fight. Yeah. He had his fight, but what was it? You just kept coming back for classes yeah I just I wanted to get better like like when I came I thought that I was in good shape already okay. right and I thought I was a tough guy I've been in a bunch of street fights whatever right so I was pretty confident going into my first sparring session thinking it wasn't gonna be much right but I got humbled really quick <laughs> like like I was even swimming and running at the time right maybe I was running about 5k at, at the time and but like a, a two minute even a two minute round I could not even last one round barely Wow, you know, I couldn't even I couldn't even throw a punch at the end of the round. That's how tired I was. And that's and that's what we've been talking about with some of the other folks about how there's there's the there's the fitness side to boxing, but then there's the the technical side. Yeah, most definitely. When did you start learning that stuff here? Um, I would say after my first loss, I started paying more attention to it. Okay. Because that was probably like my third fight in. I fought my first two fights. I fought the same guy, but then my third fight, I went in and I had. I was going through some stuff the night before and I went in there just wanting to hurt somebody. Like I just, I just had that where I just didn't even, I wasn't even thinking boxing. I was just going in there fight, trying to take this guy's head off and I learned my lesson. This guy outboxed me and that was probably my biggest lesson. So like looking back, that, 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 that's where I probably learned that, okay, I have to study this. This is a, this is a sport. This is an art form, you know, like I have to look at it like that, I can't just go in there and think, okay, this is a scrap, let's, let's get it on kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's like a game of chess, you have to be, you have to think, you have to be prepared properly, right? Plan ahead against yeah. your opponent's moves, figure them out. Yeah, most definitely. And, and you've done that 
clearly since then because it was what was the amateur record before you decided to to take I was, I was 11 and 1 11 and 1 in amateur in less than in less than or sorry 10 and 1 I was 10, 10 and 1 and it was uh, that was less less fight. than a year just about a year yeah i took my first fight actually july of in last in july year. of yeah. last year so we're not even a year off from that right now yeah. and that's uh, sort of a whirlwind you would say the least uh, going to the pro level now and doing so many fights so quickly maybe give me that side of stuff because I haven't been able to ask anybody about that yet what's like the turnaround like are you ready to go like the next day oh like right now yeah oh yeah like I haven't stopped training like since I started I haven't stopped training like there's times where after fights I know I'm not gonna fight for a month or a couple weeks or whatever like I'll just go on going on some junk food or whatever but <laughs> Like, as far as the training goes, I, I don't think I've never taken more than a day or two off, like, the whole time since I started. So. And, and, and at what point when, obviously, something... Like, in between days, I mean, like, I go, like, four or five days straight, and I'll take a day, day, day off, and then come back, you know. Day off. And, and, and through this whole journey, at what point, because uh, there was a point, clearly, where it was like, okay, I like the sport, and then we talked about the, okay, I need to learn the, me the technical, mental side of the sport as well as the, the physical side. When was it when you were like, okay, you know what? I actually want to do this with my life. Well, uh, I think it was a perf the performer in me actually, because I used to be into music and stuff, and I'd done like like a bunch of shows around Ontario and whatnot. But anyways, long story short, me and Jackie had went to a Hershey Center show, probably like four fights in I was at the time, and I just looked at the ring and the whole setup, and I thought, this this is my stage right here. Like this this is I was meant for this, you know. And ever since then, I just, we even, we were talking about, like, just joking around about the, the um, idea of going pro early too, right? And it just, I just kept working, getting better and better. Like, even now, I'm still learning and feel like I'm getting better as the day goes, right? But, yeah, like, we started talking about it early, and it just paid off. We just kept working and took the right opportunities, and here we are now. Yeah, and I mean, you, you managed to build up that amateur record, get yeah. that invite, and it was, where, where was that first? Profile. In uh, Nanaimo, BC, what thanks to Gloved Up Promotions for that one. What was that experience like? It was an experience of a lifetime, like vacation of a lifetime, experience of a lifetime. Like, man, I just had a time of my life. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, guys, you guys great. flew out there. You had the support of the coaches, yeah. right? Yeah, everybody in Nanaimo was like real good to us. Got a pretty good feedback, especially after the fight. Like, I got treated like a celebrity out there. Like the whole Gloved Up Promotions team, they treated us like royalty. Like, it was a good time out there for sure. And, I mean, washed out any questions you might have had to yourself about whether this is what to do, right? Yeah. No, I knew already. I, was, I think I had to prove to some people. I still got a lot of proving to do, probably, but I'm ready. I feel I'm ready. I envision myself doing good things, so I feel good. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what a lot of people don't know, too, is like when I made that transition from amateur, I was still novice, right? So there's the novice and there's open class. So when you have 11 fights, you turn open class and remove headgear, right? So I never fought that class. I just went straight from headgear to the pros, <laughs> you know? So I went novice to the pros and skipped open class. So. Well, I mean, that's, that's why a lot of people, like, they were doubting me, right? Because I never had much experience right. amateur, right? I had lots outside the ring that had me prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so. From Brantford, Ontario, weighing in at 165.1 pounds, Winston, the Punisher, Matthews. Once again, Matthews in full attack mode right now. Maybe realizing that he's playing from behind at this point, losing the fight. Definitely. Rainford's just got to basically push the pace for the next minute, and I would say this would be a UD win for him. Big left. Matthews, going to set that left up once again. Going to read that a mile away.
See the sweat, the perspiration just falling off of both these fighters. A bit left there for Matthews. Final seconds of the fight. We're gonna make a lasting impression with the judges' pig. Shot to the face of Rainford. Wow, what an opening bout here on Channel 10. I don't know which way to lean. 